the time we'll face death. As well as I face life. to a meditation and you come out of this world then there isn't a necessity for thought you have to prepare your thinking mind to go through stages filter out excess proliferation but the thinking mind is, doesn't want to do um, restrictive practice doesn't want to do self-discipline would rather be going out to play our sky personality is dominated by the changes in the weather and by the clouds and by the storm but when we're passive and deep in meditation and the thoughts are not cloudy the thinking mind is not employed there is just the vast blue sky it's vast, it has no border, has no depth. It can't be measured, it can't be altered, you can't add to it. It's awakening from the consciousness of I am, where they get the blue, vast, depthless, measureless, irreversible, unchanging stillness which has awoken from its dream state. It's like the choppy waves on the sea. The water underneath, the depth where meditation takes you, there is no up and down, there's no movement, there's silence. It's lonely, nothing there. And I can see as, as long as I'm well, I have this confidence that I will face death. And it comes back to the simplest thing that keeps you alive. Breathing. No breath, finished. And it leads to the deathless. And it ends in the deathless. The deathless being the transcending, unbiased, unprejudiced energy force that gave life and expression in this bodily form as the leaf falls off the tree, the energy force reunites with the universal consciousness and who knows waits its turn to, to be reincarnated so all I have to my the last second of my life is my breath that we did I didn't know when I entered this world and but I wish to know when I exit, just that last second of uh, understanding.